Hey, what's up you guys? If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Tesla Model Y, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. All right, so we're gonna be starting in the cargo area right here. We need to get behind our tail lights to start. So we're gonna start by removing the flooring in our Tesla. Now we're gonna remove our rear threshold panel. It's held in by four pins. There's one here, 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 and here. Now we're going to take a plastic trim tool and we're just gonna pry it out from underneath. And then we'll just pry it up underneath each of those pins. And now that we got those four popped, we have the weather seal right here. So we just need to pull up and angle it and it'll just pop right out. Now we're gonna pull up on this carpet trim right here. Now it just pulls straight up and you'll have to pull up on this flooring to just pull it up all the way. But this will allow us to pull back our pan a little bit more to get more room. Now staying on the driver's side, we're gonna remove this tray right here. It's held in by three pins. There's one push pin in the middle and two pins on the outside. We're gonna remove the push pin in the middle first using a flathead screwdriver. And to remove the two side ones, we're actually gonna go underneath the tab and pop that off on both sides. And then we'll just pull this tray out. And then we'll repeat those two steps on the passenger side. Now we're gonna pull up this center storage tray. It's held in by six push pins, one on the driver's side, four in the middle, and one on the passenger side. And then we're just gonna pull this up and we're going to route all of our wires underneath this to keep them out of the way. Now we're gonna remove our driver's side panel. We have one push pin right here at the bottom. We're just gonna remove that real quick, and then we're gonna pull back on this using a trim panel tool to take out the pins that are holding it in. And this gives us access to behind our tail light. And then we'll repeat that same process on the passenger side. Now we're gonna take our T connector with the yellow and brown wire, and we're gonna plug it into our driver's side tail light harness. We're just gonna slide this red tab back, and it'll just pop off. Now we're gonna take our T-connector with the green wire and we're gonna route it over to our passenger side tail light and we're gonna make sure we go underneath all of our flooring so when we reinstall it, it keeps it out of the way. All right, now we're gonna ground our white wire with a ring terminal. Uh, we're just gonna use our provided self-tapping screw in a quarter inch socket, and we're gonna ground it right here on this frame. Now we're gonna hook up our black power wire to our black wire on our converter box. We're gonna be using a U-Haul exclusive power wire that has a protective loom on it to keep us safe from the elements. And we're gonna connect these using a heat shrink buck connector. So 
So now we're gonna bring our power wire to the front trunk of our vehicle to hook it up to our battery. Now to do that, we're gonna keep it inside our vehicle and we're just gonna tuck it underneath our carpet along the trim on the driver's side. So go ahead and follow us and we'll show you how it's done. So we're gonna start by taking our wire, we're gonna pull up on the carpet right here and we're gonna push it underneath towards the end of our seats. Now we're gonna pull up on this middle panel right here. And then we should be able to just reach in and pull our wire out. Okay, now on the panel right behind our front driver's seat, we're going to remove a push pin right here. And then we'll go ahead and pull out on this right here. We're gonna take our wire on the inside of it, and we're gonna push it through. Now, right next to our driver's seat, we're gonna pull up on this panel right here. We're actually gonna pull this out quite a bit. And then we're gonna pull back on here and we should be able to find our wire and pull it through. Now we're gonna pull our wire all the way till it gets tight. And then we're gonna go back through our passenger seat and make sure we keep it underneath the carpet and reinstall those panels. So now underneath our dash on our vehicle, we're going to be removing this pin that was underneath this panel. I'm just gonna pop it off. And then we're gonna pull back on the carpet. And then right up here, we have a grommet that goes right into our front trunk. Let's go ahead and open up our front trunk so we can get a better look at it from the other side. So now in our front trunk, we're going to remove this upper body panel. We're just gonna pull up on it. There's a couple pins that hold it in, but all you have to do is pull up and it'll pop off. So with that cover off, our grommet is located right here in this opening. If you look right down, you can see it. So we're gonna need to poke a hole into it so that we can pull our wire through. Now there's other wires that are going in there, so you wanna make sure you put that hole somewhere to the very far right or left so you don't come close to those wires when you poke. That way we don't do any damage. Now we're gonna take our power wire and hook it up to our fuse holder. With our U-Haul exclusive power wire, all we have to do is plug it in. Now we're gonna remove this nut on the positive terminal using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna attach our fuse holder. and tighten it with that 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna take our provided 15 amp fuse. We're gonna plug it into our fuse holder. Then we'll put our cap on. And we have some loose wires, so we're just gonna zip tie it up and tuck it next to our battery. So now we're gonna reinstall all of our panels inside of our front trunk and inside of our vehicle, making sure that the wires are tucked in underneath the carpet or underneath the trim. Now that we have everything hooked up, let's show you where you can store your four flat harness. You can leave it in your trunk area and just pull it out through the weather seal when you need to tell, 
or you can bring it right next to your hitch, which works really easy because it stays all behind the bumper. So to bring it behind your bumper, you're going to need to go through this vent on the side. We're just gonna go ahead and push it through. Now you just need to angle it through one of these holes and with a little bit of force, it will slide right in. So to help you see where your four flat harness is going, we have our bumper off to help guide you towards your hitch receiver. When it comes out of your vent, you wanna make sure that you're pushing it towards the center of your vehicle and you'll just pull it out or push it through all the way. Now, it'll probably get stuck around here, so you'll go through the opening of your hitch and you'll be able to feel it. There should be enough room for you to grab it. So we would just like to wrap it around the hitch and you can just mount it right here on the tow loop to get access when you pull off your panel. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall our whole cargo area just in reverse order. With our trailer wiring secured and powered up, we are ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.